I now give the floor to Mr. Zahir Tanin. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished members of the Security Council, I'm pleased to be with you today and to brief you on essential developments in Kosovo since our last meeting in April. Following the end of uh, the official reporting period detailed in the Secretary General's report, we have uh, experienced developments which remind us beyond recent events in Kosovo that lack of political understanding in communication is a vector for the escalation of tensions, especially in fragile security environments characterized by mistrust. On the morning of 20 September, Pristina uh, launched a police operation in northern Kosovo to enforce a new license plate uh, validity regime. Given the history of sensitive and long-standing discussions uh, on freedom of movement conducted over uh, uh, years through the EU uh, facilitated dialogue, it would have been natural to expect early and uh, clear communication uh, and with those affected. However, little or no such communication was attempted by the authorities. The international community on the ground, including K4, with its responsibility for maintaining a safe and secure environment, was not given prior notification. As a result, a standoff developed as protesters in the north blockaded traffic at the northern gates along the administrative boundary line. Special units of the Kosovo police force, uh, armed with long weapons, deployed to the northern crossing points and armored vehicles. These units, in one instance, utilized tear gas and uh, percussion grenades in an attempt to disperse the protesters. Over the uh, on ensuing several days, the numbers of the both protesters and special police units increased. On 26 September, as uh, yet unexplained fire was set at the vehicle registration center in Zobin Potok, while uh, overnight on 25 uh, 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 September, an undetonated uh, uh, ordinance was discovered in another public office in the north. For its part, the Serbian army deployed a platoon strength reaction force in the vicinity north of the administrative boundary line and conducted several, several military overflights in the same area. Mr. President, international uh, officials such as myself with long experience on the ground, could hardly be surprised uh, by the reaction to the strong arm effort to implement a change of policy, given the history of mistrust and the sensitivity of community relations in the North. The fact that this effort was uh, not discussed through established channels in the first place, the EU facilitated dialogue on freedom of movement resulted in an uh, avoidable yet potentially dangerous escalation of tensions lasting for 10 days. Throughout the good offices of uh, European Union High Representative Borrell, supported also by United States diplomacy, an agreement was achieved to de-escalate this uh, hazardous uh, situation. It provided for the withdrawal of Kosovo Special Police Units from the north. And an increased K4 presence to establish a safe and secure environment. An interim solution was agreed on license plate validity 
uh, with discussions to continue during the following six months. What we witnessed in the North could be called a bruising episode, but it could uh, far too easily have been turned into a real hemorrhage. The volatility of the situation can also be understood by the direct personal intervention with the Pristina and Belgrade leaders by NATO Secretary General uh, Stoltenberg and uh, President of the European Commission uh, von der Leyen, among others. While closely monitoring the situation, my mission also played a tempering role on the ground, making use of our experienced presence in the north in order to encourage calm and reduce the likelihood of an accidental or uncontrolled confrontation between uh, special police in the public. I also raised my voice against unilateral actions, calling for responsible leadership and for taking of uh, and immediate steps to reduce tensions and continue uh, political dialogue. Then, just this past Wednesday, Kosovo Police Special Units were once again deployed into the north as a part of what has been described as an anti-smuggling operation conducted in several locations in Kosovo. It is questionable whether K4 was properly informed in advance of the deployment of special police units. Over the course of the day, this operation provoked further protests and clashes that resulted in a significant number of injuries among protesters, police, and uninvolved civilians, including in one case, a life-threatening wound caused by police gunfire in circumstances uh, still to be clarified. Civilians in North Mitrovica reported injuries in their homes from tear gas and uh, uh, percussion grenades, which were in use by police over several hours. Protest protesters uh, drew stones, and according to, to the Kosovo police, some suspects uh, uh, used firearms to engage the police. As uh, EU High Representative Borrell observed, uh, observed afterwards, and I quote, unilateral and uncoordinated actions that endanger stability are unacceptable. Issues must be addressed through the EU facilitated dialogue, end of quote. Accounting for context in uh, exercising responsible forethought are essential to avoid unintended consequences and uh, strategically risky escalation. The latest actions deepened the mistrust felt among the Serb uh, population in the north and led to a strong reaction in Belgrade, making a responsible recommitment to dialogue all the more imperative now. Mr. President, I have spoken in details about the events of 20 to 30 September and other issues with both Prime Minister Kurti and President Vucic. I have also been engaged in conversation with the diplomatic actors involved, especially those representing the United States, the Russian Federation, and China, as well as the uh, K-4 commander and EU officials. Um, there are several important lessons, or perhaps better reminders, that emerge when it comes to belgrade pristina relations, regional stability, and indispensability of the dialogue process. Dialogue can and should be the mechanism used to avoid the dangers which are less often visible. But just as real as they have been during these past 20 years, 
His story in the region has tragically and repeatedly shown the ostensibly, ostensibly small incidents, misreading of intentions, and uh, outright mistakes can trigger uh, an unstable security escalations that puts lives at risk and benefits no one. Mr. President, international actors, including ourselves and the members of this council, welcome the recent encounter between President Vucic and Prime Minister Kurti on 6 October during the EU Western Balkans uh, summit in the presence of French President Macron and uh, German Chancellor Merkel. Still, it would be premature and overly optimistic to say that we can see a resumption of real commitment to the dialogue, which remains the only forum in which responsible and result-oriented discussions can continue. I raise the importance of continuity in the dialogue with both uh, President Vucic and Prime Minister Kurti during my talks with them. This is a daunting, daunting challenge as well for the EU institutions who are charged to lead this process in a meaningful way. What I noticed and heard in my meetings with the representatives of the international powers uh, represented in this council is that despite the other differences, they do clearly share an understanding that there is no reasonable alternative to sustain engagement in dialogue. This is a minimum to help avert the retrograde potential exhibited these past weeks. It's important further to support all initiative, uh, initiatives that may help to promote responsible relations among all neighbors in the Western Balkans. From my point of view, trust continues to be the element in shortest supply. Trust in good faith negotiations, trust between representatives in their constituencies, and trust in the institutions that are established to deliver both. Observing the many cycles of the dialogue over more than six years, my personal conviction is uh, remains uh, strong that if the vast majority of people from the various communities, including women and uh, young people, do not feel themselves to be part of or to have a stake in uh, the process of uh, uh, political discussions and negotiations, if there is no mobilization of the society, and if they're not, at the very least, uh, aware of what is uh, even being discussed, then all efforts to change relations and resolve long-term tensions are uh, designed to remain elusive. Uh, a facilitated agreement on paper is a vital objective, but having a paper in hand does not equate to having a solution in hand. Those who could exert more influence uh, on uh, negotiating parties to succeed are mostly worn out by uh, tired uh, uh, arguments in nationalist uh, political sloganeering. This is true in Kosovo, it's true in Serbia, and it's true across the entire region. Mr. President, as Kosovo is approaching another local elections in two days' time, the focus uh, at the central and municipal levels should now be trained upon delivering the high expectations of people for change. Why was turnout so high in the past general election? In fact, what the people call for is more responsive and responsible government, including tangible follow through on the reform agenda promised during the campaign uh, period. Even more, uh, voters clearly want public institutions to work in favor of uh, the welfare of people in contrast to the past. They want greater 
equality of economic and social opportunity, fairness, accountability, and reliable recourse to the rule of law. Accordingly, Prime Minister Kurti, who uh, on at least two occasions had shared with me the major priorities of his government, assured me of his focus on this reform agenda, on his reform agenda, calling it uh, his top, top priority. I urge the government today publicly, as I have done privately, to focus on rebuilding the bonds of trust so long broken between all the communities in Kosovo and the political leadership. Rebuilding trust demands a sincere approach to the Belgrade Pristina dialogue process, as well as building an encouraging atmosphere among the different communities within Kosovo. Dealing uh, maturely and responsibly, responsibly with the past is a precondition for stability, which includes avoiding the instrumentalization of divisive ethno nationalists themes for political advantage. I have had many conversations with regional leaders during the past year, including with President Vucic and Prime Minister Roma of Albania, and I want to stress that practical uh, regional approaches have uh, begun to evolve, utilizing the commonality of interest and in, uh, increased prosperity as an engine to effect a more stable region. Like the building process, upon which it was uh, partly modeled, the Open Balkans initiative, uh, promoted by President Vucic, Prime Minister Rama, and Prime Minister Zayev of North Macedonia, is, in my view, a promising step exactly in this direction, despite differences over its details in form. Mr. President, the COVID-19 pandemic continues uh, to present an unprecedented challenge to Kosovo and the region. Curtailing its uh, spread and mitigating its socioeconomic con consequences is another matter that behoves cooperation across borders, boundaries, and ethnicity. The United Nations, through COVAX donations, has helped Kosovo vaccination program. And UNMEC and UN Kosovo team have been working closely with authorities to encourage and promote acceptance of vaccinations and preventive measures. measures. I'm proud that UNMEC and the UN Kosovo team contributed to increasing the COVID-19 testing and vaccination capacity in Kosovo, provided humanitarian assistance and equipment to the most vulnerable and have focused as well on uh, uh, objectively monitoring human rights protection in relation to the pandemic. With strong support of, from headquarters, uh, we successfully completed the vaccination vac uh, com campaign for the United Nations staff and dependents international and local, not only UNMIC, but also all the other UN entities on the ground. Mr. President, in accordance with our mandate, the mission continues widely to engage on the ground across multiple sectors and areas of work, anchored by an agenda dedicated to promote in supporting trust building among Kosovo diverse communities. I've spoken already of trust, as a major preoccupation of my time and vision for our mission, a strategy which have forged uh, and uh, refined through experience. Such work uh, is indispensable uh, and uh, must continue uh, for the reasons I stressed earlier. We have used the important instrument of our programmatic plans to set the tone and uh, to seat the realization of nearly all the objectives laid forth in the UN uh, Trust Building Forum I hosted in 2018. Through combined efforts of UNMIC, the UNKT, 
in our many international partners working hand in hand with members of different communities who believe in a peaceful future together. From uh, our work uh, uh, promoting the women and youth, peace and security agendas, to supporting multilingual education, to funding and co sponsoring a debate on television and new media platforms, to providing legal assistance and education for access to justice, we have helped to model the people-centered approach in society-level engagement articulated by the Secretary General's reform program in the common agenda. This is the catalyst role to which our mission remains dedicated, engaging with, the, uh, with an empowering voices for change while applying our creativity, understanding and analysis of the real circumstances to promote long-term and sustainable benefit, benefits for all. In my view, such work is the bedrock of a sustainable agreement, without which the vicious cycles of public mistrust and the use of divisive rhetoric for short-term uh, political gain will simply repeat themselves. The events of the past week, with their uh, uh, propensity to unravel the steady but fragile progress made in rebuilding trust among communities are of deep concern to me and should be a warning to all members of this council. Mr. President, I thank the members of the council most sincerely for their attention and for their continuing support throughout all these years uh, to myself and uh, of UNIC. Thank you very much. I thank Mr. Tannen for his briefing. I now give the floor to his...